Good morning, everybody. We got a special day today. My dad has not been on the new boat yet. We got the end of July. It's the end of January, so I think that's like, I don't know, five or six months. We're taking him out there, but we got special guests. We got Pat here. He just wrote the book about Bud and Mary's. If you guys haven't read that, I haven't read it either. You can check it out. Um, we got Kenny Spalding here, Bouncer Smith's back there, Andrew, our neighbor's here, Dawson's here from Dawson's Creek, and my dad's here. We're going deep drop, and we're trying to catch bottom fish. Bouncer's never caught a barrel fish, he said, so that's uh, on the checklist. We're gonna try to find queen snapper as well, so we'll see you out there. How many years of fishing experience are on the boat right now? Well, I'm at 70, Kenny's at 80, Bouncer's at 70, so what does that add up to? 230, just with these three old timers. try to catch queen snapper first. We got the electrics getting rigged up. We might try to hand crank them too. Let's see if we catch a couple for dinner first. How was the ride out? That was very nice. Comfortable. Did anybody fall asleep? It's no. the closest <laughs> I've come to falling asleep on the way out in a long time. I thought you were sleeping. I was dreaming up ways to harass the captain myself. My dad said the music was too loud. Oh, the music was great. <laughs> Wines, you gotta put grease on once in a while, so just remember. Are you gonna catch one? If not, I'm just gonna sit here and drink my coffee. We'll see. We have no fish yet. It's up to me. We had one on though. Bouncer, give us an update. What's going on here? Well, we're going down on the heavy tackle and coming up with a fish on on the light tackle, or some some crossbreed like that. But, uh, Can that rod a little small and funny for you? No, this is the kind of rod I like. Okay. We got bass with a mini now, but we are hooked up over here. Yes, we are. Hopefully, it'll be a clean snapper. Only 450 feet to go. One of these hooker electric reels. Level wine, line counter, variable speed rheostat. And if I wanted to hand crank the fish, turn the motor off, push the button over here, and I can hand crank my fish. So you can have your cake and eat it too. Now Dawson, don't lose his fish. I'm gonna try to. To lose it? <laughs> yeah, he, he cursed me up there on the front. We gotta color, slow down a bit. It's a little queenie. Little queenie. He'll keep eat. Coming, keep coming, keep it ain't coming. a big one, but he'll eat. Hey, he's a decent one. We'll take him. Not bad at all. He's a medium. Almost fell along. Dawson there. almost went in. Hey, that ain't nice. a little one. We'll take him. That's, that's the guys. biggest that size gets. <laughs> he's full growing, huh? And this is a queen snapper caught off of Isla Mirada on the Broad Minded with Captain Nick Stanzik and, and family and friends today. You know, I'm going to tell you something. You got so excited over this fish, there's something you forgot. You left that reel in preschool. I'm trying to and reach gonna, the bottom. You're going to have to reel that all the way back in now. <laughs> well, that's okay because I, I got you to wind it. My the days are winding. My the days are winding. Are These are 
fucked up. The old guy said we're gonna school you young bucks today. It's happening. Hey, Kenny. Send him down to get another one. We're bite away from being a hero. This is a good one here. experience on the boat today. You know what that experience is? What's that? Some... <laughs> What's that? Fish story. <laughs> we have got some experienced fish storytellers. We got color, here he comes. Oh, yeah. We got He just came off. Yeah. Oh. He just came he might float up. He might float up though. Yeah. He's floating up. I got him, Nick. The tuna. Oh. We got a lot of line out. Could be our appetizer. <sighs> Poor old bouncer. He handed the rod off, and I had to reel it up for him. I'm taking all of his fame. He stole well, it. Oh, old winding it up. Beast. Little tuna. That's our appetizer. Juicy. We're going to fillet him and eat him. Hey, make him up for a picture there, Cal. Good job. Oh, I never want to do that again. <laughs> Dawson's Creek. Oh, bouncer oh, with a tuna appetizer. There we go. There's a tuna appetizer. Boy, you talk about fun. You like that, a mini rod? You better believe it, man. So as most of you guys know, bananas are bad luck. We have a banana. Bouncer is very superstitious. He does not like bananas. But we're going to go show him and go see what reaction we get out of him. Bouncer. Bouncer, I got you a present. You want that? I got, got a fish, fish on. on. You got a fish on? Yeah. With the banana on the boat. No, the banana was hidden when I hooked it. Ah, okay. Hey, Nick. Yeah. Ah, the banana struck. <laughs> you see what the banana did? I saw that. All right, I'm going to put it away. You better. It's bad luck. All right, I thought we'd just prove the myth. Uh, his tuna got off next to the boat with banana. Maybe it was bad luck. Oh, you are hooked up to the barrels. Have you ever caught a barrel fish? I've never seen a barrel fish caught. How long have uh, you been fishing? Uh, only full time, 55, 54 years, and a little bit in the last year and a half, so 55 years. Holy moly. Of full time fishing. And this could be him. Well, they we're losing line. Oh, he's taking line. And it's pretty tight. Oh, he's angry. All right, you guys. Andrew, you get one on there, right? I'm working. I'm looking at it. Hold my mouth. Be right ready. Forward. There he is, bouncer. We got color. Here he comes. We've got color. This could be your first barrel. I hope it's not a rosy. <laughs> get him, bouncer. Get him. <laughs> I might have to empty. Just turn the motor there off. There he comes. Dawson, don't right. miss or lose him. Bouncer will throw you over. It's a barrel. Oh, yeah. Come on. Monster barrel. Nice Monster barrel. Monster barrel. Come on. Hey, you hold that Slimey. gaff. Let me grab this lead. Hey, could you come hold this fish for me? Oh, hurry up. I can't hold this thing. You only wasted one day. <laughs> don't touch that skin. I know. Yeah, it's nasty. I tried to get Pat to come over and hold it, but he wouldn't <laughs> do it. You got gotcha. you. get over there. Bouncer's first barrel fish. There's the slimiest fish we catch. Right there, Pat. Andrew's 
about to get his. 200. Oh, big one. Oh, nice look at that. Oh, drill though. There. there we nice. go. Let me see that one. You guys, we are in the barrels now. Look at that. He is slimy, folks. Been a while since we had barrels on the channel. It's all right, let Andrew hold them. <laughs> <laughs> look at the slime. It's so gross. He's from Michigan. <laughs> he didn't barrel that thing. Nice. Yeah, okay, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Slimiest <laughs> fish we catch. New species for Andrew. First barrel. We can mount that. That is barrel fish slime. We're gonna get a picture. He's going in the box. A delicacy. <laughs> I gotta get more than one now. No one's got a double yet. Sarah I'm, wants I'm a double. I'm gonna get a double. <laughs> He's taking mine. Oh, look at that. What if he gets zero? I don't care. So Sarah has one. She's trying to get more. She said uh, she's going down for more. She, she's going. She's go, go big or go home. They say. He's gotta have a friend with him somewhere. <laughs> oh, that might be him. <laughs> Dawson, what's going on back here? Uh, I'm hooked into one. Is that bottom? Oh, that's a fish. It's a fish. It's Holy thumping. Holy smokes. Dude. Oh, my God. Look at that. Nagy's smoking me. Look at that. He's Double taking up. it. Oh, son. Oh, imagine if another one grabs it. <laughs> Bouncer, don't let him take your fish. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking some. That's 15 pound braid is loaded up. Oh, get him. We'll see you in a little while. Hey, Nick. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I got a Rosie. And a Rosie. I got a Rosie. Get him, Nick. Oh, yeah. On the hand crank. And I had time to catch a Rosie. Look at oh. his lips. Talk about ripping lips there. His lips are about coming off his oh. face. Oh, my back. So if you ask if you want a hand crank, you can. It's just a lot of cranking. That's a monster. That's a monster. <laughs> Big slimy barrel. Monster barrel. <laughs> Barrels are fun. There you go.
Cassie's got a barrel on. Everybody got one but bounce on a hand pick with them. Oh, you got him. Welcome aboard. Oh, we got the barrels today, folks. <laughs> Come grab the lead. All righty. We are in the barrels, you guys. This is all barrel honey hole. Hadn't hit this spot in a long time, and we found them. Got off to a slow start, but we're getting them now. Are you hooked up? Yes, sir. On the mini rod. Yes, sir. Is it a barrel fish? Yes, sir. If you catch them, that'll be impressive. Our buddy Bean will be jealous. Yeah, that would be that would be, uh, that would be a beaner. I wonder if I should get out of his way. It just came off. Oh, nuts. We'll go back down and we get him again. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hungry. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. oh. I think another one ate the bait. It could have happened. Could have been, man. Really. Supposedly, they school. Did he come off again? I don't think so. I think he's swimming up. I think it's a swordfish. Yeah, he's swimming up. I think it's a swordfish. I like it. Yep. Hey, Bean, how you doing today? <laughs> hey, Bean. You shouldn't be jealous. Didn't mess things up bad enough when I had the tuna. Now he wants me to work for an hour to finally hook a fish, and now he wants to scare it off. <laughs> if this comes off, you're going in after it, Captain. Dawson, be ready to swim. Um, he is very superstitious about bananas, so we did not bring anything to do with bananas today at all. You ate a banana earlier. And I look like one. <laughs> Bouncer. You can make history with the first barrel fish ever caught on a mini rod. Yeah, but I've been severely jinxed. <laughs> We've got color, guys. It's scoping up. Bouncer could get his first ever barrel on hand crank. Assuming it's a barrel fish. <laughs> I hope that the banana doesn't mess it up, Bouncer. Oh, look at the size of this rosy. Oh, a nice barrel. A beauty. A beauty. I hope I don't miss. I got him. Bouncer got a barrel on the mini rod. The mini rod barrel fish. That don't happen every day, folks. Is your life complete now, Bouncer? I'll tell you what, you're talking <laughs> about a tough job. Doc, we got a barrel full of fish, literally. Barrel full of barrel fish. We got it all. We got tuna appetizer, we got queen snapper, we got a couple of rosies. FWC's here to measure the fish, make sure they're all legal. Is today really your first day? Yeah, man. It is? Yeah. What's your name? Natalie. Natalie, good luck. Okay. <laughs> this is a barrel fish. It is the slimiest fish in the ocean. It's beautiful. Oh, you brought the rag to clean it up, I didn't you? I didn't bring enough rag. No, She's so much. excited. Look at the slime there. Isn't that impressive? <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, so you're gonna measure them and do like a fish yeah, count or what? Yeah. Okay. We'll let them work. We'll do our stuff over here. So I'm spraying all the slime off. Look at that. I mean, that slime is just insane. Look at that. Oh, do you want to do them all or can I cut them while you guys are doing them? Yeah, go ahead, you guys. We'll okay. Alright, so we're knocking the slime off to make it a little easier. If you're not careful, I'll fall down the hole on you. Let's start up here. 
Well, I haven't ate barrel fish since like a year ago. I have huge rib bones, so we're just gonna try to avoid the rib cages. I actually want the rib bones are thick. Just working, we're just like any fish, work your way down there. So make sure your mouth is closed. Now these look good, guys. These look good. We bled all these fish too, we just didn't show it on camera, but help knock out a little blood out of the meat. You can see a little bit coming through while we're cleaning them, but probably knocked out, you know, 90% of it, I bet. Thing on the other side but that's barrel fish we'll see you guys back in the kitchen in a few minutes or well, probably like tonight or tomorrow night but we'll see you then welcome back to the kitchen it's not our kitchen it's her neighbors we live right there andrew and stacy are here they had so much fun fishing yesterday well andrew did we got barrel fish here he thinned it out he cut it in half it's really hard to cook when it's really thick so we got that going on stacy how are we cooking this we are doing a blackened seasoning so okay. I'm just mixing up the spices right now. There's some smoked paprika, kosher salt, garlic powder, onion powder, um, just a little mixture. Well, we voted and the, the cast iron skillet black and did not receive the most votes. So we're shifting a little gear here and going half and half or 60-40 blackened with lemon pepper uh, on the grill. So we're preparing that now, just basting with a little olive oil and rubbing in the spices. You caught this fish yesterday, right? I, I'm not sure I caught this one. No, that's I the think, one you caught. I think this was you, <laughs> That was mine? <laughs> My first barrel fish. First time using an electric reel. First time using an electric reel. Mm -hmm. It was really a treat. Was it cheating? Not as much as I thought it would be. <laughs> See, it wasn't as much. We were in a thousand feet of water with a big heavy sinker. First time he's ever done that, so. I would not have wanted to try to hand crank that thing. <laughs> yep, Bouncer Dawson. Well, Bouncer, Bouncer, Bouncer did, did. Yeah. Bouncer did on the mini rod, so. Yeah, then Dawson, Dawson snagged bottom, lost all our rig and our line. Take it out of his bag. <laughs> This is Stacy's homemade lemon pepper, uh, Cajun spice. Unfortunately, we did not have anything in the lemon pepper variety, so we're going with Lowry's, but you can't go wrong with Lowry's. You're getting hungry? We're about to cook you some fish right now. So, do you like barrel fish? What did she say? She's going to. Duke. Hi, Duke. She wants to eat some brownies. Oh. Andrew, are you a master chef? I am not. Andrew's a master chef, you guys. And is this like the salmon on the Great Lakes? It is very similar to salmon. You can see how it tastes. I think it's going to be a lot better tasting, but very similar. No mistake in the blackening. All right, we're getting the next flip in. Drop the temperature down to about 375. Oh, they're coming together nicely. A little half and half over there. You've never had barrel fish, right? Never had barrel fish. Almost perfect. Okay, that's the 50 50. Oh, falling apart, delicious. Going 
back for seconds. Player approved. Sadie, tell us what you think of the barrel fish. Courtesy of Chef Andrew. You like it? It's good? What's the opinion of the fish? I really like it. It's good. Tell very, the texture and all that. Firm texture, but uh, very mild flavored and uh, delicious. Very good. Yeah. Like to part there. I've had barrel fish before. Haven't I? Yeah. It's good. It tastes like grouper. Is it chewy? <laughs> yeah, but that's how barrel fish is, so. It's good, white, like flaky. I mean, it's not like flaky like snapper or hogfish, but I mean, I just cut it with my fork. Did you try it yet, Stacy? It's good. Well, I'm getting ready to. The moment of truth. What do you think? I really like it. I like the texture. It's delicious. I like it. How'd the blackening season turn out? It's not too spicy. It's good. You're out of food? But I really do like the texture of this fish. It's unique. It's different. It's very unique. I haven't had a barrel fish in like a year. Barrel fish is going down. Lemon pepper? I'm going lemon pepper. I'm not doing the blackening. Do you hear what Sadie says? It's a little spicy. <laughs> it's spicy. That's not that chewy at all. I thought it was actually mature. It's good. White. Bad at all. I like it. Look at that. If you can see that there, very nice. A little different texture. Not quite as soft as like snapper. I'd eat it again for sure. Yeah, it's good. It's not Definitely. Like chewy, being no. so chewy that you wouldn't eat it. Not at all. We it thinned it out, chewy, so but... I like it. Well, that's all we got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. If you want any merch, check out the website stansfishing.com. And uh, if you want to save 20%, we'll do a week discount code. Type in barrelfish, 20% off the whole website. So just for one week, barrelfish is the code. We'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.